Hey guys, Zelonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In this video today, I am going to show you what 1 million coins can get you on FIFA 23 right now. Are you fed up of getting out teamed on FIFA? Want that God squad that you've always dreamed of? Check out MMO EXP and use code ZEL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out the link below. MMO EXP, the best place to buy coins. So we're at the point of the game now where squad builders are in kind of two ways harder but then also easier the harder in the sense of there's so much choice so many different ways you can build players so many different promo cards that have come out so many different ways to get chemistry but then um, that makes it harder in my opinion because it's almost like how do you even figure out all these and try and remember all the options but then it's also easier because there is more variety um i feel the squad builds at the high end are a bit of a nightmare just because the price of some of the top top tier cards is bad but in this video we're looking at what 1 million coins can get you we're going to be showing you two team examples one is purely la liga santander the spanish league i think in this league there is a lot of really good quality for good price whereas i think some of the other leagues maybe even don't lack they kind of lack quality towards the higher end at reasonable value or they just don't have a lot of quality until you spend stupid coins so French League, for example, has got some of the very best players in the game, but you can't afford them in a cheap squad builder. And then the second team is going to be mostly one league with a little bit of hybrid. At this point in the game, it's a lot easier to hybrid and put in some elite players who are reasonable value who are going to get chemistry um, to build out these squads. And if you like these videos, I'll do more at higher budgets, mix it up. I know the squad builds have always been pretty popular on the channel. So for here, we're starting with Courtois and Net. When it comes to your keeper, there is never a reason for me, unless you're on an absolute minimum budget, just starting the game out or trying a new road to glory. There's no reason not to go for a high rate keeper. These keepers make a big difference. The tall ones with good stats tend to be the best. And the thing about them is, the price you pay for them, they pretty much always hold because they go for their fodder price anyway. Right back, Jordan Amavi. I have mentioned him in a lot of my videos. Beast of a card. Fast, real, really, really, really good physical stats for an 87 right back. Very good defending, pretty good on the ball, decent passing. But when you bear in mind, he's also got a five-star weak foot. Really, really nice card. Uh, Antonio Rudiger, so it's a million coin team. This team probably goes to 1.1, 1.2 mil, depending on price fluctuations. But Antonio Rudiger's in there to help um, lower the price a bit. Very, very cheap card. And still pretty decent. A little bit off the curve, but still pretty good at this point. Koundé, very good centre-back. He's at that kind of level of centre-back that are reasonably valued for how good they are. And then after him and only a couple more centre-backs, it just starts getting to a stupid price. Um, previously on FIFA, you could pretty much always get top centre-backs at under a million coins, whereas the very most expensive ones now one and a half to two mil. Uh, Gold Mendy, again, a card that I preach by. Always insane on FIFA. You're never going to have a FIFA unless something drastically bad happens to his real life form, where Mendy is not going to be really good. Usman Dembele. In cheap teams, he's always there as a gold player at the start with his 5-star, five 5-star, five star, some nice pace, dribbling stats. The inform fits into this team. If you want to really make it to a million coin team, you could swap him for his gold. Bit of a downgrade. This one's about 90k, so I think pretty good value for a decent upgrade to a very good card. Uh, Vinicius Souza, definitely not amazing, but four star week for elite physical, elite defended. Okay pace, he's off the curve in terms of, compared to the top midfield, he's a bit slow. But that pace for someone who's got that much physical defending stats can pass, decent week for, he's gonna be a bit clunky, but he's very cheap. Nice to use a bit of a different card as well. So I think he's pretty good value in this team. We have Pedri's team here, honourable mention. You could always swap him out for Gavi. Uh, what a, you could swap him out for his team in the tournament to lower the price or go up to Frankie's Path to Glory if you want to try different cards out. But I think this Pedri is really good, especially combined with that Vinicius Souza. Five star, four star, pretty quick for a midfielder, elite passing, great on the ball, and his defending physical are fine. Vinny Jr. So we've got two Viniciuses in there. Um, and this one is 20k now. At one point, he was like 250, 300k. With a hawk, he gets 99 pace. He's rapid, he's got great dribbling, five star, four star. One of the best value players in the game now, still plays well. Vinny's probably another card that you could use in the end. 
and FIFA and it'd still be usable. Griezmann now, and this is where nearly the whole budget in the squad goes. And there's not many players who are transcendent in, I don't want to say genre, playing FIFA, but who are transcendent in their budget. Griezmann at like 650k, which I think he's at right now. I paid 540 for a bargain that. Five star, five star. With a hunter, his pace is pretty good. It's not like top, top end, but it's pretty good. Insane shot. Great passing. One of the best dribblers in the game. Very, very good physical. Pretty decent in the air, even though he's small because of his stats. Like, he is insanely priced, um, especially when you consider you can hybrid him in with French. Um, he's one of the top, top value players in the whole game, so it's one of the reasons we sacrificed elsewhere to get an elite attacker in this team. And then, honestly, still a pretty usable card. He's a little bit one-dimensional. I would probably go Hunter on him just to get that acceleration and finish it up. You could go Engine. Um, if you want him to be a bit less clunky. But I think Soloff, still a bit of a beast. Will still feel rapid. Absolute tank. Good in the air. Decent on the ball for a big man. Shooting's fine. His passing ain't as bad as it looks. Four star weak foot. He'll still be a beast and part of Griezmann well up front. That is team one. Let's go look at our team two and see what we think of that. Okay, so here we are with the second team. It is going to be a hybrid of French League and a few Bundesliga players in there to fix it. So the French League does have some really good value players in it. But to go to the top end and start getting some of their elite, elite defenders, um, or um, especially centre-backs, there's not really a lot of value. So you'll see why we've done what we've done. So we have Manuel Neuer in net, top keeper. You could just go Donnarumma, but Neuer is really useful for the centre-backs chemistry. Um, tall keeper again, good distribution uh, with, I think it's a cat. Whichever one gives position and reflexes is what you really want for him. But he's really good. Um, Je Jed Spence. Yeah, it is Jed Spence. Um, I think a couple of these players might be on like two chem. You probably could mix it up. When I build these squads, I try to build squads that are full of good players. And it's not too hard to get on chem. They're nearly always full chem, but you can always mix it up a bit and change some of the players. I don't know what untradeables you guys have or SBCs. I try to avoid putting SBCs in squad builders unless it's a... SBC that I'm pretty confident nearly everyone's going to have done. This Jed Spence, very good right back with a shadow. Near enough 99 pace. Great defending. Um, really good defending for a full back at an 86. Solid physical, good on the ball. Now this is where the hybrid really came in. Klosterman and Gavardio. So they're giving each other chem by being um, same team. Klosterman and Neuer will give each other chem being German. They'll all get Bundesliga chemistry from having three players in it. And then I would probably be looking to get a Croatian manager to get Gavardiol on free chem. When Gavardiol's on free chem, he is probably a top five centre-back in the game. For 300k, to fit him in a 1 million coin team, have such a good centre-back, who's probably going to last the next few months, is pretty insane, to be honest. It'll mean, I think, Spence and Neuer. Spence still might get full chem from the French League, actually, because we're going to have eight French League players. So I think it might be the only player in this team who's off chem at all is Neuer on two, which is not an issue. He's still got the stats anyway. But this um, Gavardio and Klosterman duo, for like 350 k I think it is for the pair of them, is absolutely outrageous. Um, just an insane pairing. And it's even nice you get the left foot and right foot. Ismaili, another left back that I've talked about quite a bit. Uh, very, very solid choice. Good stats across the board. Um, the CDMs in this team are a bit limited. Uh, the French League definitely is a little bit limited there on the midfield. Guendouzi is actually very good, to be fair. Um, lacks the weak foot, but he's in the Hullet gang. Any card in the Hullet gang already is going to be pretty damn usable. But yeah, very good card. Definitely recommend um, using him. If you've got, so there's quite a lot of SBCs in this league, and I don't know what people have got, or people might have icons that they can fit in, World Cup heroes, etc. So you can mix it up. But Fafana is a pretty good cheap one you can put in if you don't have anyone like that. Diata, surprisingly really good card. You're probably going to go a dead eye on him, just to really boost that shooting and passing, which is a bit of an issue because his pace and dribbling's really good, he's physically really good. But it's a really, really good card crep in the R. And he's like 20k. Neymar. Now Neymar again. Always a top, top tier gold card when the game launches. 
He's 65k right now. And I don't get how a card like him is nearly at fodder price. He's outrageous. Going to be one of the very best gold cards every year on Fiefton's pace really drops. But he's still a very usable card on the game right now. And our strikers are Bufal and Lacazette. Bufal, very, very good card for the price. Five-star week for four-star skills. He's at 40, 45k or something now. His dribbling's some of the best in the game. With a hunter, he's pretty quick. Well, yeah, he's really quick with a hunter. He's like 97 pace, I think. His shooting's more than solid. His passing's good. Dribbling's good. He's a bit poor physical. Stamina's fine, though. But four-star, five-star with those stats, we'll get him on full camp. It's just insane. Um, if, if you did want to swap in a World Cup hero that you've got, or an icon or something, you could always swap Spence out for gold to Kimi, and that'll help with Kemp. And then Lacazette gets that five-star skiller up front. You can always put Buffalo out wide and have Neymar and Lacazette up front, so you've got two five-star skillers. Lacazette, just a very, very good, well-rounded card. Hunter on him gets him to like 97, 98 pace. Really good shot power. High finishing with a Hunter. Fine on the ball. Great physical. More than good enough passing. A top tier team for a million coins in my opinion i think that one's probably a little bit more balanced than the la liga one but the la liga one's getting you griezmann who's one of the best attackers in the game probably at this point hopefully that's helped you out guys there's obviously a lot more you can do with a million coins in terms of lots of different teams you could go Serie A, you could hybrid in like bale uh, chiellini if you've got those cards that really helps because they're just so cheap um you can mess around in the premier league there's lots you can do I appreciate you guys watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully it's opened your eyes to what you can actually get for a million cod. Appreciate you watching. Keep it spicy. Peace.